be me, 20-year-old student doing little computer repairs for money. Get a call from a friend working at a warehouse. Anon, there's this huge pile of laptops that has to be thrown away. I asked my boss if I could take them and he said yes. They seem pretty recent, so come and see them. You could possibly earn quite a bit of money off it. See pictures, see lots of Lenovo ThinkPad T440s, why not .jpg? Go to my friends, inspect the laptops. Most of them have problems, but some of them work fine. Load them on my car and head back home. An asshole jumps a red light and T-bones the back of my car. The police come and see the dashcam footage and says that the asshole was in the fault. Submit insurance information. Maliciousidea.gif Put all 50 laptops into compensation. My face when I receive $30,000 in compensation for mostly broken laptops. Be me, going to bed. Put covers on. Forget to close my eyes. Stay awake for six hours before realizing <laughs> I have to close my eyes to sleep. Sleep.png Be 16. Wake up in a psych ward. No memories. No idea why I'm here. No idea who I am. Get fucked up on prescription drugs. Leave after three months. Two years later, I stop the meds. Finally not a drooling retard anymore. Nobody told me why all this shit happened to me. I don't even want to know. Get new friends and a cozy job that I like. Get my own place. Be me today. Find my old computer in the basement. Decide to restore the backup to know more about my past self. Multiple pictures of severed heads, some in bathtubs, some in sealed plastic containers. Somehow feels... familiar. I don't even have the guts to do a reverse image search. Destroy the evidence. Offing myself right now. Goodbye, 4chan. Broke university student. Mother is a meth head, dad is a pedo. Snooped through my younger sister's internet history and found tranny porn. GF left me just one week ago. Been drinking non-stop. My grades are collapsing. Thank you for all of the amazing memories. I've treasured them. And thank you for always being my favorite board. Bro, I feel you. Could you maybe help a bro out and buy me GTA 3 on Steam? I know you won't be needing that money after you die, right? Be me, a man. Love jerking and sucking off dudes until they come. Love the feeling when guys blast their hot load all over my face and down my throat. Still identify as straight, though. Problem? Be me, eating bre- <clears throat> Be me, eating breakfast with my 16-year-old blue-haired daughter. Starts talking about cultural appropriation and other bullshit to me. Whatever, dot jpeg. She starts going off about trannies and pronouns. I can't help it, I start to laugh. She asks me why. Tell her trans people don't get to dictate my language. The daughter literally starts crying. Tries to argue, but can only stutter. Runs off to her room. My wife just shakes her head at me. My daughter locks herself in a room for three fucking hours. When she finally comes back, her eyes are still bloodshot from crying. She has a shit-eating grin on her face. Starts referring to me with she-slash-her pronouns. Whatever, too big igloo.jpg. Follows me around all day, going out of her way to misgender me. Right before I lose my patience, I get an idea. I just roll with it. Tell her to not refer to me as dad, but mom. She looks confused. Tell my wife to start calling me Davina instead of David. My daughter is visibly uncomfortable. I start talking in an obnoxious, effeminate voice. My daughter waddles back into her room in tears again. My wife is still unamused. Stop off at Party City on the way back home from work the next day. Buy a cheap-ass blonde wig. Start wearing it around the house. My daughter can't take it anymore. Stop it, Dad. This isn't funny. Tell her to stop being a bigoted transphobe. She is trapped, doesn't know what to do or say. My wife tries to keep a straight face. Might just have to have her teach me how to put on makeup. This is not over yet. What's the lowest calorie diet you've ever been on while cutting fit? I'm currently on a 650 calorie diet. Has anyone ever attempted to go lower than that? Am I insane for going this low to begin with? <laughs> Enjoy your Auschwitz mode. I assume you don't care about strength or muscles then? That's fine if your goal is to be DYEL. 
Oh, I'm still getting 130 grams of protein each day. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That means you get 520 kcals from protein and a diet of 650 kcals. What the fuck are you eating? Uh, let's see. Two multivitamins and 36 hard-boiled white eggs. Two multivitamins and 13,140 eggs per year. How do your farts smell? 13,140 eggs per year. You're gonna make it. Include me in the screen cap. I want to believe. This is either the biggest retard on this board or the new Einstein. Dude, you might as well spend the day with your mouth in a chicken's ass. Oh, you're sad because a girl at your high school doesn't like you back? Peter, when I was your age, I left school to bullseye gooks from a helicopter in the middle of some godforsaken jungle. Don't tell me you have it hard because you're a pathetic, kissless virgin. You can act sad when you have to leave behind the ladyboy that you fell in love with and made passionate, steamy love to in a collapsing bamboo shack. Just like I did. You think I felt good about firebombing his chink village and watching our fuck hut burn to the ground? We were going to build our lives together there, Peter. You know, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my car. Be in line at CVS. Long line, taking forever. There's only one register open. An autist lines up behind me. I can tell that he wants to talk. Has a bunch of stationery and office supplies in his hands. I try to avoid contact. The autist says, Man, sure is taking a while, huh? They should open up more registers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm trying to become a screenwriter, so I'm just getting some notebooks and stuff. Really want to get started on my ideas, you know. I just moved to LA, so I'm trying to get started. It's pretty exciting, you know, because... Dude, I don't care. Silence. Ten more minutes standing in line. Go into the bathroom for a piss. See something on the ground. It's either shit, food, or a bug. I finish my piss and kneel down to get a closer look. It's a pill bug. It's upside down. It's dead. My face when that pill bug slowly starved to death on my piss-covered bathroom floor, cold and alone. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you when you needed my help, pill bug bro. I can only hope that you will forgive me. The boss calls me into the office. Hey, Anon, we noticed you've been cold and unwelcoming to your new co-workers, so unless you fix that, you're unfortunately done here. Uh, sorry, I'm autistic. Oh, oh my god, okay. I'm so sorry, Anon. Get back to work. There's, there's no issue here. Wow, I'm not even autistic, but that was easy. Ira Hooker. Tell her I'm a virgin. I'm not actually a virgin, have had plenty of sex. But, when she thinks it's my first time, she's very gentle and sensual, and I get to act nervous and submissive, which really turns me on. When I act all amazed when I touch boobs, for the first time, in quotes, it actually feels more special to me. I love how caring she is, and how she takes the lead if she thinks she's deflowering me. When I finish, she cuddles with me and calls me a good boy. I've done this with about 20 different hookers now, and I can't stop. Have an older brother so autistic, his type of autism cannot be classified. Loves writing stories that read like fanfiction with your average, poorly written weeb characters. Bad at anything artistic, cannot draw. I despise him, but decide to try and help him out for once. Has to send pictures of clothing items to an artist as a reference for outfits. Tell him to try out Pinterest. He has an account already, but acts confused. Go to his search. The only previous searches are Lolly and Lolly Hentai. Why am I related to this troglodyte retard? 11th grade. Got laid five times that summer. Meet a girl at school. She's weird, interesting, and a tomboy. Also a 9 out of 10. Become good friends quickly. Home alone at her house one day. I start telling her that I think she's cute. We kiss. She tells me that she wants to be a man. Whoa, dot gif. Tells me that she's only into girls. Shows me her strap on. Tells me that she comes to school wearing it sometimes. Wants me to help her find a girlfriend. Thinks I'm a stud that gets a lot of girls. I tell her I'll help her get girls. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this though. She asks if I want a hand job. Yeah, sure. She asks me what it's like to have a dick and jerk off and have sex. She puts on the strap on. She places my hand on her dildo dick. We start jerking each other off. 
She starts telling me about all of her fetishes, a lot of dark, twisted stuff. She has a fetish for legs, wants to play with my leg. Um, sure. She starts kissing my leg, licking my leg, pulling my leg, pulling your leg, I'm pulling your leg. I'm gonna walk into McDonald's with his hat on and convince some workers that the Holocaust didn't happen. Wish me luck. Be me, working at a burger joint, make fries and cashier mostly, had several regulars. This one guy though, comes in on Fridays with his ham wife and two teenage daughters. Always looks sad, his kids are always rude, wife has eternal piss face. Keep seeing him on Friday dinner time, actually start to feel for him. One day I see him come in, I start taking his order, his wife and kids walk away to get soda buckets. He starts a conversation with me. Hey mister, you married? I shake my head. Got kids? Nope. Glances over at his wife and leans in close to me. Immortalwords.mp3 When you think you want to marry someone, you need to sit down and think real hard. My face when. I still think about him sometimes. Be me. Live with a girl. Big titty goth gf.png have been with her for six years now. There's only one problem. She only uses me to satisfy her primal urges. Every single morning and sometimes before bed, she remembers my existence and wants me to fulfill her bodily needs. That's it. Besides that, I have no other functions in the relationship. Because of it, I'm always stressed and think about losing her, being replaced, or always worrying that I no longer satisfy her. I think that I've become rusty. Then, suddenly, one day she comes back home visibly depressed, doesn't look at me at all for a while. After a week, she suddenly remembers that I exist, and this time it seems like she believes I can help her in other ways. She wants me to go to the bathroom with her for some reason. We go there, and the bath is filled with hot water. She wants us to bathe together. She gets in first and then helps me climb in as well. She suddenly drops me. She's immediately electrocuted, my face when I'm a toaster. Be me, 27 year old virgin, finally move out of my parents house and into an apartment complex a month ago, live next to a roasty, trying to go to sleep the first night living there, hear this bitch moaning and making loud sex sounds for a solid hour, keeps me up past midnight, I'm tired at work the next morning. This happens every fucking night. I try banging on the wall, the fuckers don't hear it or they just ignore it. After a week, I go over and I voice my dissatisfaction. Chad and bitch come out and say that they have the right to do whatever they want in their apartment. Tell me to get fucked. That night, they're louder, more obnoxious, and go for longer than before. It's on, dot wave. Go to Guitar Center and buy the biggest, loudest speakers they have. Record audio of them fucking a few nights. Gotta ensure I get the very best that they have to offer. Begin observing their habits. Notice that they have friends over every Friday night for drinking and shit. Intend to execute my plan the next Friday. Come home on a Wednesday and as I'm walking by, I see her walking into her apartment with who must be her parents. Oh shit, dot webm. Run into my apartment faster than a nigger with a TV. Plug speakers into my laptop. Crank it up to max settings. Execute order 66.gif. Audio file begins playing. Sounds of, uh, uh, oh, Chad, yeah, fuck my ass, can be heard throughout the building. Feels like the windows might shatter from the sounds. When the audio file ends, I hear yelling from her apartment. I hear sirens. Apparently, her father had a stroke from the embarrassment of hearing his daughter ask for Chad's hot cum in her asshole. He recovers. Kind of. Never see Chad again. Roasty never has guys over again either. Last I heard, she was on antidepressants and doesn't go out anymore. My face when I can finally get to sleep at a decent hour. My face when I ruin a Roasty's life. My face when it was all well worth it. Be me. Halloween a few years back. Go as a motherfucking wizard. Blue wizard hat with stars and moons and shit. Blue Snuggie I've glued velvet stars and moons to. Getting all the Myers from the QTs. Wow, Anon, I love your costume. That's such a creative costume. 
Bitch is trying to talk to me all night. Commence festive holiday drinking. See a guy dressed as Chef Boyardee. He's got a sack of Chef Boyardee raviolis. Bet him five bucks that I can chug an entire can of ravioli. He says he's only got four dollars. I crack open the raviolis and I chug like there's no tomorrow. No need to chew, they're basically little jello shots. All the females around me are now officially disgusted. Disregard females, acquire a free meal, and four dollary dues. All the guys at the party now call me the ravioli wizard. Be me. Got new iMac today for work. My sight immediately drops below average and I need glasses. Feel the urge to dress ironically too. I am Apple Beta Cuckboy now. Gonna meet my newly assigned progressive girlfriend at the local hip coffee shop. She has regular intercourse sessions with black people because it's her way to give it back to the community and pay for the colonial heritage of white people. We are waiting until we get married to have proper sex though as a social experiment to control my primal destructive male energy. She was quite cross with me when she caught me masturbating to women exploitation videos, i.e. porn. So now I am required to wear a chastity device in order to help me resist temptation. She's very kind like that. I also find Amy Schumer very funny. My face when. Walking with a girl down a path to her house holding hands. She lets go of my hand. Anon, I think we need to go further than this. Well, yeah, how else are we going to get to your house? Doing doggy with GF at the time. Pull out and keep her in that position while I go to eat her out from behind. Remember a bunch of the sniff memes I saw on 4chan. About to laugh, but I don't want to ruin the moment. I get an idea. Put my nose a decimeter away from her asshole. Inhale smoothly and fill my lungs. Halfway through filling my lungs, my body reactively stops inhaling. My nose is filled with the worst thing I've ever smelled in my whole existence. It's like I buried my nose in dog shit and sniffed. My dick goes limp in seconds, rapidly exhaling and inhaling through my nose to get the stench out. GF is asking me what's wrong. I tell her nothing. Can't get back into the moment. From then on, whenever we sexed, I would get scared to have my face near her butt. Actually gave me ass PTSD. Made me question my sexuality. Wouldn't recommend. Be me. Try my best to be nice. People tell me that I'm a good person because I'm behaving nicely out of the goodness of my heart. My face when they don't know it's because I want to gain their friendship. Walk through town. See old woman and a much younger girl with her approaching me. Try not to go beast mode on them. Getting close to walking past them. Go beast mode. Go in between them and hit both of them in the chest. Continue walking my way. Do not look back. I feel so fucking powerful. I hate women so fucking much. One chance at life. Born a virgin. Be me. Be newbie EMT. Be 13 hours into a shift. Be tired. Take nap on shitty bed. Be woken up from nap by my partner. Smells like Folgers.jpg. Rook, get up. We got a call. You're driving. Fuck it, I'm awake. No use in arguing. Drive to the address. Dispatch described it as male patient with chemical burn. Think some dude spilled bleach or something on himself. Hop out of the ambulance and gear up. Apartment complex. Can hear the coon tunes blasting from the apartment. California Dreamin.mp3. Partner knocks. Paramedics, are you okay, sir? Silence. Partner opens door. Smells like weed. Give partner a look. Call out again, but louder. In here! Some dude replies from a back room. Follow the noise. Greeted with a black man standing stark fucking naked in the bedroom, cock flopping around, eyes wide as fuck in obvious pain. Uh, what exactly is the problem, sir? I got icy hot on my dick! All of my what dot jpeg. Partner is flabbergasted. Uh, what? I got high and started a jacket, but my hands was dry, so I grabbed the icy hot. Sides begin to rumble with enough thrust to blast into orbit. All right, all right, sir, calm down. Where is your bathroom? He pain dances to the bathroom, making noises akin to Michael Jackson getting his soul sucked out. He <laughs> he dot jpeg. Sit and watch my old ass fucking partner wash this nigga dick with cool water while trying not to crack up. Basically jacking him off. 
Even cleans the urethral opening. Gotta be thorough.png. No chemical burns, just red and irritated. He asks for pain meds. We leave. Partner is quiet for the rest of the day. My face when he jacked off a black man. My face when I had to watch. Be me. Be five foot nine, big dick goth boy. Be eating at Wendy's. Be enjoying Baconator because fuck it. A pack of tards and their wranglers enter. Oh shit, this is gonna be good, nigga that gif. One tard looks like he owed money to the mafia and his head was in a vice. The other tards looked like your average potatoes. After they got their food, vice tard was staring at me. I was thinking maybe they thought I was a vampire or something. But no, the fucking vice tard comes up to me and says, Can you be my girlfriend? What the fuck? I look very androgynous, mind you. Anyway, I tell him that I am a boy. The tard gets surprised and goes full tard rage all over the place. Flips table, runs around naked, shits on floor and then eats it. All of my what.jpg. The wranglers try to hold him down. The tard says, No! Tard punches the wrangler, runs out into the street, gets hit by car. That was a tasty burger.